Hey, welcome back to YT Finance, and this is the channel where I went to business school so you didn't need to, and today we are going over the latest stock market news stories that you should be aware of as an investor. So for more videos just like this one, go ahead and annihilate that like button right now, subscribe if you are new, comment your thoughts down below about any or all of these stories, and with that being said, let's get right into today's video. The stock market has been performing exceptionally well, considering that the S&P 500 index has surged for the sixth straight trading day. While the the Dow Jones and the Nasdaq have also both risen as well, and the reason why the stock market is rising and increasing is because of a very positive GDP report which quashed any remaining fears of a recession. But there is also some bad news considering that Bitcoin and Tesla shares are down right now. But don't worry, we're going to talk more about Tesla later in this video. You should also be aware that Paramount Global announced an unspecified amount of layoffs for their business. According to Business Insider, they believe that they are going to lay off 8% of their staff. Now, the interesting thing about this is that Forbes Editorial Union recently launched a strike against this company through Monday before the company announced these layoffs. So maybe these layoffs are in direct response to the strike, but as of right now, we just don't know. But what we do know is that if you are an investor in a Paramount Global, then the share price is going to be extremely volatile over the next few months. However, this volatility won't be seen in the general stock market, considering that the macroeconomic economy is doing quite well right now, which would increase the prices of shares across the board. Similar to Paramount Global, like we talked about, Microsoft also has recently laid off 1,900 gaming employees employees, which is quite interesting. Now, I personally really like Microsoft as a company, and I think they are a great buying opportunity right now, but clearly they are going to focus on artificial intelligence more than their gaming segments. In other news, we saw Visa, which is the payments processing company, reported stronger than expected revenue growth coming in at 9%. The reason for this is because the company cited healthy consumer spending, high payment volumes, and transactions. So this should go to show that the economy is becoming stronger as investment confidence increases, which allows them to spend more money on products that they want. We also have the technology giant named Apple in the news, which will now allow downloads outside of its app store over in the EU. And this is in direct response to a new competition law that was recently released. However, I really don't think that this is going to be very detrimental for Apple overall, but we're just going to have to wait and see. But in the meantime, I love Apple and I personally hold it in my portfolio. You should also be aware of the T-Mobile and SpaceX partnership, which is absolutely insane so you should be aware of this. T-Mobile is a telecommunications giant, and recently, they actually fell by 3% in the pre-market, even though we are seeing their share price increase by 1.46% as of right now. The reason for the initial pullback in their share price of around 3% was due to the company missing analysts' forecasts in regards to their earnings. Right now, there is a fierce battle going on between companies like AT&T, Verizon, and T-Mobile to absorb the largest amount of market share that they possibly can to try to butt out these other companies. Recently, AT&T, ticker symbol T, released mixed quarterly results, while Verizon posted better than anticipated results, and T-Mobile results came in mixed as well. T-Mobile is forecasting slower growth throughout the year of 2024, especially when we compare that to their growth rate in 2023. However, that's not the good news. The good news is that they are partnering with Elon Musk's SpaceX company. T-Mobile is going to benefit from the rollout of satellites as a part of its partnership with SpaceX to provide service in rural areas. This should give T-Mobile a very good competitive advantage in regards to their competition when they are going up against companies like AT&T and Verizon. So this partnership between T-Mobile and SpaceX is absolutely phenomenal for this company, and I personally own T-Mobile in my portfolio. More good news for this company is that they still have $16 billion remaining under a prior stock buyback plan, to where T-Mobile repurchased $13.2 billion dollars worth of stock in 2023, and it's extremely good news when we see a company trying to buy back shares, because they believe that the future of this company is so good that they want to buy back shares at their current price, and they still have money left over to continuously do this. That's why I think this company should clearly be on investors' radar, and if you wanted a more full breakdown of their earnings report, you can look here on screen. Their net sales beat expectations, while their adjusted
adjusted EPS fell below estimates. But if we look at their adjusted earnings per share, they grew by 41.5% year over year. And to me, that is a phenomenal growth rate. So with that being said, make sure to look out for T-Mobile and make sure to do your own research on this company. Speaking about companies that Elon Musk is involved with, let's also talk about Tesla, which recently recalled nearly 200,000 vehicles. So why is that? The reason why Tesla is recalling these vehicles is due to their backup camera, which may not be functioning properly, especially when the car is in reverse. Basically, when the car is put into reverse, the backup camera could go completely black, which is a huge safety hazard. According to the article, this recall would involve models such as the Model Y, Model S, and Model X variants, which were created in 2023 for that model year. However, in my opinion, I think this is being blown away out of proportion, and here's why. Tesla says in documents that it is not aware of any crashes or injuries that have resulted from this malfunction. Also, various documents say that the problem has been fixed with an online software update. So it seems that no injuries occurred due to this and the problem has already been resolved, even though a lot of people want to just push out this headline to scare people regarding Tesla. And lately, it seems that we've seen a lot of this considering that investors are liquidating their Tesla holdings, to where Tesla's TSLA shares plunged by 52%. So let's dive in to talk about why that is. Back in 2021, Tesla, which is the electric vehicle and energy storage and generation company, peaked at a share price of $400 to receive a market cap of over $1 trillion. But since then, their share price has plunged downwards by 52%. This was due to various reasons, including economic headwinds, inflation, and lower demand, as well as increasing interest rates. Now, unlike other investors, which are scared right now and selling Tesla, I am buying Tesla at this phenomenal price of just $183. This is a huge discount compared to what Tesla was trading at back in 2021 at around $400 per share, so I am taking advantage of this cheaper share price in a phenomenal company. Now, with that being said, the author of the article is correct that Tesla is no longer a startup electric vehicle company, considering now that it sells millions of electric vehicles each year. This also means that the company can't grow as rapidly because it's more difficult for larger companies to grow on a percentage basis due to the law of large numbers. We've also seen a lot of negative news headlines come out about Tesla recently, including the article that we just talked about, and we also know that Tesla reported less than impressive financial results. Their fourth quarter 2023 results came in below Wall Street expectations, and that's why investors are liquidating their shares in this company, which I think is a huge mistake. However, this does give me a great opportunity to buy this company on weakness. Tesla is facing a major problem right now, considering that electric vehicles sell at a higher price point than traditional ICE vehicles, also known as internal combustion engine vehicles. Essentially, electric vehicles are just not affordable for everyday people, and this is one of the reasons why Ford announced that it will postpone their $12 billion investments into their EV segment because of softer than anticipated demand. In a parallel situation, we also see General Motors abandon its goal to produce 400,000 electric vehicles in 2024 because the demand is just not there. And they even left a $5 billion electric vehicle partnership with Honda Motors because again, the demand is just not there for electric vehicles as of right now. But despite this, Tesla has a plan. Elon Musk says that there is demand for Tesla and electric vehicles, but the price point just isn't there for the majority of people. There are many people who want to buy Tesla but simply can't afford it, not only because of the high sticker price, but also because of higher interest rates. As a result, Tesla will start production on a whole new car in 2025 that will sell at a much lower price point, and Elon Musk believes that will ignite a new wave of growth and demand for Tesla. If you recall many years ago, I posted a video regarding Tesla and their upcoming vehicle model in 2025 to where I believe they will produce an electric vehicle that is worth around $25,000, which is extremely affordable for everyday people. Now, $25,000 is still a large chunk of change. However, with that being said, it is far cheaper than the majority of electric vehicles on the market right now. Therefore, the future of Tesla is extremely bright, especially as this company enters into new growth catalysts, including their extremely cheap electric vehicle, which will come out in mid-2025. That's why right now I'm accumulating Tesla shares on recent weakness, and I would love to hear your thoughts about Tesla down below. Next, let's talk about artificial intelligence stocks that should be on investors' radar, starting off with none other than UiPath, ticker symbol P-A-T-H, ticker name PATH. This company is one of the popular technology and artificial intelligence investments that ARK Invest and Kathy Wood has been investing into. Kathy Wood is an analyst, a CEO, and an investment celebrity, so at minimum, we should pay attention to some of her purchases. But even if you don't like Kathy Wood or ARK Invest, let's just focus on UiPath as a company. UiPath 
UiPath specializes in robotic processing automation, also known as RPA. In essence, their software allows users to automate repetitive tasks, and they also combined their technology with existing AI technology, to where this company is literally set to dominate this market and have a monopoly over this segment. This company is also set to have explosive growth in the future, so get a load of this. As of right now, UiPath's annual reoccurring revenue rose by 24%, up to $1.38 billion in the third quarter of fiscal 2024, ending October 31st. But you may not be impressed with $1.38 billion, but listen to how their market that they are a part of is anticipated to expand rapidly. And remember, they are already a market leader in their respected segment. Recently, Polaris Market Research said that the global RPA opportunity and market, which is exactly the market that UiPath is a part of, is worth around $2.7 billion as of 2022. But this projection is anticipated to skyrocket up to $66.1 billion by 2032, meaning that UiPath is poised to capture significant market expansion over the coming years. This is one of the many reasons why investors should accumulate shares of UiPath while the company is still cheap before their amazing growth rate really starts to take root. So if you're looking for a cheap AI company that has explosive growth over the future, then UiPath may be the stock for you, but I would highly encourage you to do your own research on this company to make sure that it's right for your personal portfolio. Next, let's talk about Adobe, which is a much more mature company, but they haven't stopped innovating. Adobe is known for their creative design suite and e-commerce tools, but they are also starting to get into generative AI. Their most notable product is Adobe Firefly, which generates AI images with just simple text inputs. The company is also growing pretty rapidly, considering the revenue in the fourth quarter of fiscal 2023, ending December 1st, grew by 12% year over year, up to $5.1 billion, while their earnings per share rose by 29% thanks to share buybacks. We also see smart money, hedge fund managers, money managers, and mutual fund managers buying Adobe. So when prestigious institutions and investors start to buy this company, that means you and I as retail investors really need to be paying attention to this company. And last but not least for AI stocks, let's talk about one of my favorite stocks, which is Meta Platforms, ticker symbol M-E-T-A, ticker name Meta, formerly known as Facebook. Over the last few years, Meta Platforms has been trying to diversify their revenue segments to break away from just advertising, because they have a a lot of social media sites that they can take advantage of regarding various types of marketing, which would include sites such as Facebook, Instagram, Messenger, WhatsApp, and Threads. But Meta Platforms is also a leader in artificial intelligence, and they are using artificial intelligence to seamlessly translate languages, which will allow anyone to understand what someone else is saying, even if they are speaking another language. In a nutshell, their artificial intelligence technology allows people to seamlessly communicate even if they speak separate languages. But the best part about Meta to me is their work on virtual reality and mixed reality products. Through Meta Platform's software and headsets and artificial intelligence, they can help train people to do new tasks all in a virtual or mixed reality world. Some examples of this in real life would be teaching people how to cook, play tennis, or create pottery all in a virtual environment. Meta has been heavily investing into this type of technology, and I think we should really pay attention to this company considering that they are trading at a much cheaper valuation compared to other technology giants. So those are the top three artificial intelligence stocks that I'm looking into right now, and I would encourage you to look further into these companies as well. Speaking about artificial intelligence stocks, what happened to Intel recently? Well, let's talk about what's going on with them and what this means for companies like AMD and Nvidia. Intel has slumped in their share price due to releasing a bleak forecast for revenue during the first quarter. And when companies don't perform in their earnings reports, that means the company's share price most likely will also drop. The intriguing thing about this is that analysts say that there is plenty of business to be had over in the chip sector, which is exactly where Intel operates. However, it seems that Intel just can't keep up with the competition from companies like AMD as well as Nvidia because they are coming late to the AI revolution. But the news gets even worse considering that the chip maker forecasted current quarter revenue that could fall short of market estimates by more than $2 billion. To quote straight from an investment director in this article, he says, and I quote, There's a danger Intel is being left behind as chips from the likes of NVIDIA and advanced micro devices play an increasingly important role in the 
data-hungry AI industry, end quote. It seems that Intel just can't keep up with the competition that they are receiving from companies like AMD as well as Nvidia, but despite this, analysts remain positive on this stock with a mean price target of $42 per share. Now, this is not all bad considering that Intel could still benefit over the long term from artificial intelligence, but we are just going to have to wait and see. In other news, we also saw Salesforce lay off more of their overall workforce, laying off about 1% of their workforce, which would equate to 700 people. We also have to remember last year that the company cut 10% of their staff, which was about 8,000 employees. However, this is no surprise considering that tech companies have laid off a total of around 23,770 employees, which would include companies like Amazon, Google, eBay, Microsoft, Meta Platforms, and Salesforce. So it seems that this is just par for the course, and this does not mean that anything is intrinsically wrong with Salesforce themselves, it just means that they are cutting employees that are not being very productive. Lastly, let's round out the video talking about the top stocks that you need to pay attention to today, and that would include American Express, which is a payment processing and credit card company which is up more than 1% today in pre-market trading. The reason for the optimism surrounding this company is that the credit card issuer forecasted a full-year adjusted profit above expectations. The company said it planned to bump up its quarterly dividend by 17%, and this really got investors excited. We also saw Colgate stock being quite volatile ahead of the opening bell after the consumer goods giant reported quarter four 2023 organic sales growth that topped expectations, so great for Colgate. The company also gave very bullish and positive full year 2024 guidance to where they believe their organic sales will grow within their long-term targeted range of 3-5%, to so again, this is rather positive. We also see good news in regards to Coinbase, ticker name Coin. Coinbase is a cryptocurrency exchange, and they recently increased in their share price by around 5% ahead of market open, and this is because Oppenheimer, which is a brokerage institution and a financial institution, which recently upgraded their target for Coinbase. They actually increased Coinbase from a perform rating to an outperform rating, and this got investors quite excited. The company said while many of Coinbase's peers have actually gone out of business, Coinbase is still fighting and remains strong in the crypto industry. So again, this is great news for Coinbase and cryptocurrency holders. Last but not least, let's talk about Snap and Snapchat, ticker symbol SNAP, ticker name Snap, which increased in their share price by 3.5% recently. And this is because Deutsche Bank upgraded the stock to a buy rating from their original original hold rating. And this optimism is further supported by the revenue that will be brought in from Snapchat Plus, and they plan to rebuild their ad platform on top of their Amazon partnership. With that being said, that concludes today's stock market news update. So go ahead and annihilate that like button right now. Subscribe if you are new, comment your thoughts about any or all of these stories down below, and I will see you in the next YT video.